Now with more on that nude photo scandal rocking the Marines, a private Facebook group with thousands of members inside the Corps shared explicit images of women without their knowledge. The Marines' top general has issued a scathing rebuke, and now one of the victims is speaking out. Martha Raddatz back with all that. What an outrage. It, it really is, George. The Marine Corps, as you know, is the smallest service. It has the fewest number of women, and it has a very big problem. Overnight, women telling their painful stories. I felt like my privacy had been taken away from me. Having to go through being harassed constantly every day of my life for the past year just because of a mistake that I made four years ago, it's not anything that anyone deserves to go through. Former Private Callie Wayne accusing her ex-boyfriend, also a Marine, of sharing a private tape online they had made together. She says it was linked to a private Marine Facebook page. It's extremely widespread. If it's happened to me, it's got to be happening to a lot of other females. Wayne joined the Marine Corps in 2013, but was removed three years later for unrelated misconduct. The allegations are shocking. Marines sharing illicit photos linked to a private Facebook group with tens of thousands of members. The photos reportedly numbering in the hundreds, possibly thousands, said to include more than two dozen women, some identified by name and rank and where they serve, many reportedly attracting obscene comments from some members of the group before the photos were taken down. General Robert Neller, Commandant of the Marine Corps, calling the allegations embarrassing to the Marines. When I hear allegations of Marines denigrating their fellow Marines, I don't think such behavior is that of true warriors or war fighters. The allegations surfaced when Thomas Brennan, a Marine veteran turned journalist, says he discovered the photos connected to the Facebook group. There were a nefarious few that uh, decided to sexually exploit hundreds of women um, and, and, and create something that could be easily weaponizable. A spokesperson for the Marines saying a Marine who directly participates in, encourages, or condones such actions could also be subjected to criminal proceedings. This morning, the Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps, Ronald Green, is expected to address the allegations to Congress at a previously scheduled hearing. You know, the leadership is clearly angry, but I have heard leaders in the Marine Corps and the other services talk about sexual harassment or the treatment of women, saying they have zero tolerance for that, and it has gone on and on and on. Mm. Zero tolerance.